I've just seen it happen over the last few years. I've just been telling people, you know, get a press, figure out how to run it, you know, do it now. So, you know, letterpress is really very much an art form at this point. Nobody would print a newspaper for a circulation to millions of people on a letterpress. It wouldn't be practical, but there's some amazing work being done. And offset printing is kind of getting to that same point now where because it's not burdened with the need to be the, the sort of donkey that the weight of the printed world rides on, you know, um, it can also become an art form in its own right as well at this point, I believe. Um, you know, there are graphic designers and people like David Carson who sort of predicted the end of print in some ways, but it's not really the end of print. It's the end of print as the dominant commercial form of communication. Um, offset printing, you know, I think people barely started to scratch the surface of what's possible, really, as far as it being an art form. And as far as it being an enabler for people to communicate, I think also there's a lot more that people could be doing that they just don't realize. You know, it is possible. It's difficult, but it is possible. And if you're willing to make a little investment and put in some time, you can set up your own print shop and print it whatever the hell you want, you know? Um, well, the quality of offset um, is far better than photocopying. I mean, no matter what anybody says, no matter how good the photocopiers get, you're still taking carbon-based toxic toner and fusing it onto the surface of a sheet of paper. And so if you rub it, wear and tear, if you carry it around in your backpack for a long time, the, the toner will start to rub off and it'll just go to pieces, you know? <laughs> I've seen it happen. And printing you know the ink actually bonds with the fibers of the sheet of paper it's a you know much deeper process it makes a much more permanent impression so you know if you're doing something where it's just a flyer for a band's gig next friday well sure just photocopy it whatever you know but if you want to you know somebody to be able to actually read something that you're printing in a hundred years you know then you know offset's a good way to go because I don't know how photocopiers are going to hold up over time, honestly. I've, I've gone to printers before and had jobs rejected because of political content. And, you know... It wasn't like really explicit. They just asked me not to come back anymore. And there's other print shots that'll print whatever you bring them. They're not going to give you a hard time because of the content. But just the possibility that, that can happen, you know, is problematic. And depending on what it is that you're communicating, you know, it, you, you know, you really might want to have it under your own hands and not have it going through someone else's setup, you know. people's zines I mean it's people we're creating our own culture in a way I don't want to say subculture so much because I mean everything's a subculture depending on where your position is but but yeah we're creating our own literature our own culture our own artwork our own uh, communications to each other or we're express people are expressing themselves creatively in all sorts of ways and it's all uh, it's grown since you know over the decades you know the whole zine culture and it's really you know it's some really nice interesting stuff going on there so to me some of the most interesting work i've done you know is uh, it's definitely like people's zines you know and some of the most creative and interesting stuff you get opportunities to do all sorts of stuff that you just don't get to do with commercial corporate printing well, we primarily are here to serve um, anarchist and anti-authoritarian publishers, people who ultimately re ultimately reject the system of capitalism and uh, and the effects that that's having on 
on the planet, on human relations, relations on everything, you know. But, you know, the more that the means of producing your own printed material, the more it's in different people's hands outside of this contained system, you know, sort of, I mean, let's face it, the safer we are in our ability to communicate. Like, right now, if they pull the plug on the internet, what would people do, you know? <laughs> I met a boy with a broken jaw. He said his father likes him better with it. I asked him, walking home through the night, he said he had something better to do. I'm just a boy with nothing left to lose. And to gain, I have everything but you. So I'll walk home through the blistering cold just to make 